Hi, my name is Jesse. I'd like to show you TaskPaper, my Macintosh application for simple list making. TaskPaper lists are composed of four things, projects, tasks, notes, and tags. As you type, these items are auto-formatted so that your lists are easier to read. You can see each of these elements in the Getting Started instructions that are displayed when you create a new document. Project lines end with a colon. Task lines start with a dash followed by a space. Note lines are any line that isn't recognized as a project or a task. Tags start with the email at symbol followed by a name and an optional value. Creating your own lists is very easy. Type them in directly, just like you would in your favorite text editor. TaskPaper's auto list formatting makes entering tasks even faster. Adding tags to your lists is easy too. Type the email at symbol followed by the tag name. If you are adding a tag that already exists somewhere else in your list, then you can use autocomplete to apply that tag even faster. Now I'll show you how to work with the list that you create. First remember that your lists are just text. You can always edit them with cut, copy, and paste, just like in a normal text editor. And if you mess something up, you can use undo to reverse your changes. But TaskPaper also adds features that are not available in standard text editors. Each entry in task paper has a drag handle immediately to the left of the entry's text. When your mouse is over the handle, it will highlight. You can reorder your lists by dragging your entries by their handles. When you have completed a task, you can apply the done tag by clicking once on the entry's handle. After the done tag is applied, the entry will display with a line through it. Later, you can move all done tasks to the archive by choosing the menu View Archive Done Tasks. You can also just delete completed tasks by pressing Command K. That instantly removes the task from your list so that you never need to think about it again. This is a good time to mention that all task paper features are fully accessible through keyboard shortcuts. Now that you understand task paper lists, I'll show you how to filter them. Filtering allows you to focus on a particular project or tag and hide everything else. To focus on a single project, click the arrow handle next to the project's name. That begins a new search that filters out everything but the project that you've selected. You can see that search shown here in the toolbar search field. You can add and delete tasks in this view, just like when you are viewing your entire list. When you are finished and ready to go back to your entire list, click the project's arrow handle again to cancel the search. You can use the project's toolbar item to quickly switch between projects. My favorite keyboard shortcut is Command L. It brings up the projects list and allows me to switch between projects by using only a few keystrokes. You can also filter by tags. Let's go back to the main view and add some today tags. Now, when I click on a today tag, only those entries are shown. TaskPaper also provides a tags toolbar item that allows you to quickly filter based on any tag in your document. You can also filter your document by typing simple keyword searches into the toolbar search field. For example, when I type tasks, only entries that contain the word tasks are shown. TaskPaper also understands a flexible query language. Learning this language isn't necessary for using TaskPaper, but if you do learn it, you can be more specific with your searches. For example, here I'm finding all tasks that are tagged with today and are also in the Getting Started project. TaskPaper's query language is fully described in the user guide, which can be found through TaskPaper's help menu. I've now covered all of TaskPaper's fundamental features. Now let me show you a few extras 
and share some tips and tricks for working with task paper. The quick entry window makes it possible to add tasks even when task paper is not the active application. Use the global keyboard shortcut Command Shift Return to show the window. Select a project to add your task to, and after entering your new tasks, use Command Shift Return again to add your tasks and close the window. The projects list displays a separate list of only your projects. To show the projects list, choose View Show Projects List. You can use this list to navigate between projects. You can also drag and drop entries onto the projects list to move them to a new project. Tab views, or just views, make it possible to have multiple views of your lists. To create a new view, choose Window, New View. Each view maintains its own search, selection, and scroll bar state. Themes specify the fonts, colors, and other settings that task paper uses to format and display your lists. For example, it's the current theme that says that entries with the done tag should get crossed out. You can change the theme that you are using through task paper's preferences window. Task paper is designed to be a simple and flexible application. This is how I prefer to use it. First, I like to hide all the extra user interface elements such as the toolbar, tab views, and the projects list. This leaves me with a simple text view to work in. Task paper is designed so all features are accessible with keyboard shortcuts, so I still have full access to task paper's features, even in this minimized mode. For each big thing that I'm working on, I create a new project. For example, I have a project for each of the applications that I'm developing, a project for the books that I want to read, and a project for the website work that I need to do. Right now, I have about 20 projects overall. But before cleaning things up for this screencast, I had about 30. I'm proof that you don't have to be particularly neat and organized to use task paper. In addition to my normal projects, I also keep a default inbox project at the top of my list. That's where I put new tasks that don't yet fit into an existing project. At the bottom of my list, I keep an archive project. I don't archive most tasks, but I do archive features that I've completed in my software applications. That way I can remember what has changed between releases. As I work, I add related tasks and notes to my projects. For well-defined projects, like my book list, I have a nice clean list of tasks. For less well-defined projects, like task paper, I also have lots of messy notes mixed in with those tasks. I don't use tags very often, except for the done tag and sometimes the today tag. But other people use tags quite extensively, especially people who are following the getting things done system. If you are using that system, Task Paper's tags work well for assigning context to your tasks. I hope that this screencast has helped you understand what Task Paper is about and how it might help you. You can download and try out the trial version for free. I look forward to answering your questions in the user's form. Thanks for taking the time to watch this screencast.